You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. 648 on a Friday morning. We're bringing you nonstop coverage for the next 11 minutes. Everything you need to know to get your day started. Here's what we are staying on top of this morning. No arrests at this hour after two people were shot in the parking lot of a Cobb County High School. Right now, still no arrests. What we know about this investigation. It is a cool start for us this morning. We've got temperatures down into the 40s and 30s out there, but it's going to warm up nicely as we head through the afternoon. Let you know how long that warm air will stick around before changes come coming up. And we begin your 11 minutes in nonstop news in Cobb County, where it is back to school for students and staff at McEachern High School. And this morning, two people are recovering after being shot in the parking lot. The shooting sent the school into an immediate lockdown. 11 Live's Ariana Manis is live with the latest. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Cheryl and Aisha. We saw several police agencies rush here to McEachern High School when shots were fired in the school's parking lot. Now, this is video that's been circulating on social media showing what many believe is the moments leading up to the shooting. Cobb County Police say they're still investigating whether this is the actual shooting. Police say two people were shot. They're expected to survive. They were not students at the high school, but some of the people involved do attend the high school. Now, while students and staff, they are praising the way police were responded to the shooting. They're also calling for better security. Now, as of right now, police, they have not announced whether they've made any arrests. As soon as we get that information, we'll be sure to bring you the latest. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. This morning, we are hearing some of the conversation between 911 dispatchers and the first officers on the scene of that shooting. McEachern High, 2400 New Macklin Road. Caller's advising he was shot in the leg in the parking lot. Now they're advising two people hit, two people hit. Both victims have tourniquets applied. One to his leg, one to his arm, and another one applied to the left leg. The first 911 call came in just before 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon, and you just heard how those first responders on the scene tended to the victims there. At the same time, the calls reflect other officers were trying to locate the person who fired the shots. During these calls, we also heard when police learned that a student actually captured the video of the shooting. Then just before 4 p.m., the campus was secure. Time now 650 this morning South Fulton police are looking into 19 people as part of a human trafficking investigation. This all started after shots were fired in a neighborhood off of Old National Highway. Nobody was hurt, but police detained people between the ages of 16 and 40 years old at the home. We talked to a neighbor who says there has been chaos at that house since November. The party would start at, let's say, 11 o'clock at night and not end to 8 in the morning. Um, there will be Uber cars that will literally be lined up uh, down the street as if it was an event, um, a concert or something, and it would be young girls coming out with bags. So we had no idea what was going on inside the home. So now it is a human trafficking investigation. Neighbors say they're just glad police were able to come out, and they hope this problem will be resolved soon. Now to the state capitol where a bill to legalize sports betting now heads to the house for more debate. The proceeds would benefit pre-K and hope scholarships. If the bill is passed, it would also allow voters to have the final say. And that was a look at your Friday morning top headline. A Friday Groundhog Day, Chesley. Sure is, and we will warm it up today. It's going to be a nice one out there. Temperatures on the cool side, at least for this morning. You got temperatures down into the 40s. Let's dive in here a little bit and take a look. You got 35 degrees in Conyers, for example, 43 in McDonough, down to our Locust Grove as well. 32, you're right at the freezing mark there in Noonan. 35 degrees in Peachtree City. 33 in Chattahoochee Hills in South Fulton County. Hiram at 33. 43 degrees in Marietta. You had 40 in Mapleton. 44 degrees in Tucker. Downtown Atlanta the same. 39 degrees up towards Roswell at the current hour. Uh, a lot of folks will try to forego that jacket or coat this afternoon as temperatures will be on the warm side. 67 degrees for the afternoon high. So I can understand. I get it. I get it. But it is still winter, okay? My mother would call it fool's weather. Northwest breeze at about 10 miles per hour or less for this afternoon, so it's, it's going to feel really good. We've had some decent amounts of rain here lately, and you can see where we're out of the drought uh, in a lot of spots throughout the state. Uh, that yellow area is abnormally dry, so not considered a drought, but we do have some spots where you see the tan up here for Fanning and uh, parts of Union, Towns County, over toward uh, 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 Dade Walker County as well. That's where we have the uh, uh, the moderate drought. So there's smaller pockets and we'll get some rain in for the latter half of the weekend. That will help to push a lot of that back as well. Clouds over us right now, but no precipitation coming out of those clouds. In fact, they're starting to break up just a little bit there. So we're expecting to get the sunshine in for much of the afternoon. It's going to be a nice, nice day. Bonus day, I like to call it for wintertime. We should be in the middle 50s. 
well into the 60s. Of course, it's well above our average for this time of year. And we have dual high pressure dominating our skies for uh, today. I think tomorrow as well, before that rain comes back to us, you're looking at a 50% chance on Sunday, Monday, 40% chance. So at Sunday afternoon going into Monday is where we're likely to see that rain. Notice the clouds get out in our forecast track model. We'll have the sunshine through the afternoon. We'll hold on to it for Saturday as well. It won't be until late Saturday that we'll see some clouds rolling into the area. That's where we'll start you off on Sunday morning. Mostly cloudy skies by the afternoon. Light to moderate rain begins to push into the area. Stays with us at least through Monday morning before starting to clear out by Monday afternoon. Temperatures will cool down because of the clouds and the rain as well. You're looking at 49 degrees for the high on Sunday. Monday back up to 53 and then we'll get back to those 60s as we head into the middle of next week. Ash, thank you. This morning, the remains of three Georgia service members killed in Jordan will receive a dignified transfer in Delaware. Bree Jackson is live this morning. Bree, President Biden and the First Lady are expected to participate in that ceremony. That's right. Good morning. So President Biden will be among those honoring the three soldiers when they're uh, when they return to American soil this morning. The president vowed to never forget their sacrifices to the nation. Now, the drone attack that killed the three U.S. service members in Jordan still remains under investigation. The Biden administration says Iran-backed militia groups are to blame for the deadly drone strike. And White House officials have said that the U.S. response could be multi-targeted and last for weeks. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin says the U.S. is preparing to retaliate. Take a listen. So this is a dangerous moment in the Middle East. We will continue to work to avoid a wider conflict in the region. But we will take all necessary actions to defend the United States. And today's ceremonies for the three American soldiers killed in Jordan will be the second dignified transfer that President Biden has attended. He attended the transfer of the remains of 13 service members killed in a 2021 terrorist attack during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Back to you. Bree, thank you. Right now, students and faculty at Emory University are concerned, and some say they're even scared. Since the October attacks in Israel and the war between Israel and Gaza continues, students who voice support for Palestine say they have been targets. We talked with the legal director of the Georgia chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. She says there's been a wave of Islamophobia and Muslim harassment on campus, and the school is not doing enough to protect its students. Emory sent us this statement, quote, Emory does not tolerate any action that discriminates against groups or individuals because of their nationality, identity, or beliefs. Good morning, Chesley. Morning, Cheryl. Happy Groundhog Day, folks. It's going to be a warm one out there. Temperatures in the 60s already as we head into noon, right around 61 degrees, going up to 67 for your afternoon high temperature for today. Winds will be on the light side of the northwest at about 10 miles per hour or less. By 6 o'clock, we'll have fair skies. 64 degrees is going to be a pleasant evening out there. We'll have one more day with sunshine on Saturday. And Sunday, the rain returns to our area. All right, let's take you out live to the party around Puxatawney Phil. That's a big event oh as they're gosh. waiting for the groundhog to come out. Oh my they gosh. are pumped. <laughs> the prediction should come at 728. But who's more accurate, Puxatawney Phil or Georgia's own General Beauregard Lee? Well, according to findings last year from 538, Puxatawney Phil is not nearly as accurate as his reputation would have you believe. The data determined that the rodent was only accurate about our weather in the south about 50% of the time. Meanwhile, Beauregard Lee, you know, he's here, he's local, he's got a 70% accurate accuracy rate. 99%, 99.9 for you, Chesley McNeil. Mm -hmm. Hey, I do my best, I do my best. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> that party there in uh, Pennsylvania. Cheryl, that's your birthday party. Oh, oh, there. oh. <laughs> happy, birthday happy birthday this weekend that's to Cheryl. That's what they're singing. That's what they're singing. Oh, that's your party. Oh, <laughs> party on, Prehab. Me and the road.